basically today we're going to be doing a video talking about why the B11 is so underrated and I'm going to be this video is going to be called in defense of the B11 strike force like I have great jets like I have the Hydra and people pick a lot of the time pick like the Molotov and the Hydra over the B11 but it's better than people think you know I want to show I'll show the things here. It comes with all the, the only thing it doesn't come weaponized are bombs. It comes with the explosive cannon, it comes with the homing missiles and the barrage missiles. Bombs, I just have close stuff with those right now. Like the armor's it's so good the armor. Counter measures I just use first. I have all the rest upgrade. And um, I'll show the customization, because why not? There's obviously none. The hog, the snake, the shark. The boy, camo shark, camo hog, woodland camo hog. Yeah, you can just see him here. I just use the hog, and then both of mine are matte black. Yeah. I'm gonna be talking about why the B11 is so underrated. And okay, so first of all, let's have a look at this takeoff time. Boom, taken off instantly. How is that? Um, first, I'll go through the complaints. What people complain about for the B11. And then go why. And then say why they're good. The first complaint is its speed. Like, heard the people go, oh, the B11 is so slow. How can a jet be this slow? The B11, I can understand it's slow for a jet. The B11 isn't as slow as people make out. Like, it was faster than I thought it would be. Like, all these YouTubers have been saying, "Oh, it's so slow. It's slow for a jet." But it's faster than I thought it would be when I bought it. And then people are like, "It's not. It's not faster than the Hydra. It's not faster than the Laser. It's absolute got garbage speed." But let's think. I don't know what the fastest plane in the game is. It's like the Molotov or the Pyro or something. And like, if they added, uh, every update they added a new plane, it was faster than the last one. Then, like, by by now, there will be no point to using the Hydra. But one of the best parts about the Hydra, we'll talk about with explosives on later, but the speed on the Hydra is so, one of its best, is, well the speed's very good on it, and the laser. So if this thing was faster, than the Hydra and the laser, then what would be the point to owning the Hydra and the laser? Like, there's just no point if this is faster. Like, jets will be forgotten if there's a new fastest one every update. So, I think the speed's fine on it. You can get across the map pretty quickly. And then, the next complaint people have is 30 homing missiles, like, it's one of the only, if not the only jet in the game, to have limited homing missiles. Which, sure, is bad, but it has barrage missiles and explosive MG. So, I hardly use these homing missiles, like, and it has bombs, by the way. It has bombs. So, why... Well, like, sure, use homing missiles if you need, but just the main thing to use is the explosive MG and the barrage missiles. So, like, I've never ran out of homing missiles using this thing. It either gets destroyed or I'm done with it. And then, the next complaint um, is I'm pretty sure it's explosive MG. Like, people say. It has such slow fire rate, why would you buy this MG when the Hydra and the Laser have a better cannon? Which, sure, you could get Hydra and Laser cannons, but then it'd be OP. Like, if you gave it the, like, it's got, it's the best armoured jet in the game, I'm pretty sure. So if it had that armour and a Hydra cannon, then how OP would it be? Like. It will be, like, people say, 
oh, it could be the a counter to the oppressor. He wouldn't be a counter to the oppressor, it would be the new oppressor mask too. Like, sure, it could do with a bit more fire rate, but this thing does its job, like, it's really bad at taking out ground targets, yeah, like, it can't take out people for its life, but it can take out vehicles, it, it can easily take out stuff in dogfights, like B11 is a sick dogfighter, which I'll talk about later, but it can easily take out ground vehicles, like, let me just go find a busy street, and then I'll show you, like, why it can take out ground vehicles, we'll find a target and I'll go for it, see that car there? Boom, got it. In one run. One run. That's the same as it would have taken with the hydrogen laser. But yeah, basically, the B11 is kind of still like, it could do with a bit more fire rate, yeah. But not like the hydrogen or the lasers. It's it got a good kind of. So it's a kind of sign. Now. Um, the complaints, like, let's say people gave it the cannon, that everyone wants it to have the hydrogen laser cannon, let's say they gave that, and then they gave it a speed buff, which everyone wants, and it still has the armor, it would be a tank, it is a tank now, what would be the point, like, if it, if it was fast and had the hydrogen laser cannons, there'd be no point to having the hydrogen laser, you don't want to get rid of, like, you don't want to get rid of the purpose of other jets. Like, people own the hydrogen laser. What would be the point for them? Like, people spend 6.5 million on the hydrogen laser, and it, oh well, on the laser, and then this better version comes out. But, now we'll talk about the good thing. Um, the armor, we'll talk about the armor first. Let me go find a street. Where does that start? There is a hydra there. If it goes to that, if it goes to that, then I'm gonna dogfight it. I think it is, you know. If I see pink, it's. Who's pink? Bro, that's Forest Kid, man. I'm pretty sure he had a bounty on him earlier. I'm just gonna watch out. Alright, basically, I found this Hydra, and I'm pretty sure he's trying to kill this guy who's doing the thing. So if he does, I'm just gonna circle around. If he kills him, then I'm gonna dogfight the Hydra. I'm just watching out right now. Uh, I don't wanna go kill him, and then he's like protecting him or something. I'm trying to see that. Oh, well, he's crashed. That didn't last. Anyway, back to what I was showing you. I'll show you how tanky the B11 is. Let me just try to land it on this. Like what? I can ram vehicles, I can ram vehicles and the plane isn't even smoking, any other jet would have either been destroyed or been smoked in by then. But because the B11 is such a tank, it's not. Now more good things about the B11, I'll go show you it's dogfighting actually, because the dogfighting is the best part about it. We'll go fly over Fort Zancudo and try and get some jets, hopefully this goes well. And it's not even that expensive, people are like, 3.8 million for this, that's a rip-off. But let's think, the Pyro and the Molotov, they cost like 4.5 million or something about their trade price. And they don't even come with explos an explosive gun at all. And like, this is nearly a million less than that. It comes with an explosive gun, bombs, homing missiles, barrage missiles, it's way more armoured, it's got pretty good speed, like, and it's better at dogfight. Um, you could say the pirate's better, but this 
it's still pretty good. And so for 3.8 million, it's worth it. I'm just thinking to take down all my vehicles quickly. But now, I'm going to fly over this and try to get some hydras after me. There we go. Alright, let's try this. Well, there's a hot. Jeez, there is an actual griefer now. There's an actual griefer. I didn't expect this guy to do it. Okay. Well, this turned to a griefer video. There. See? Boom! Took him out. The B11 is a beast. Even a griefer can't get me. Shush. You can't beat me. Stupid kid trying to get me. See, the B11 cannon just took down a Hydra using the cannon. And I didn't even use the homing missiles. So don't complain that it's got 30 homing missiles and I just took out a Hydra without firing a single missile. What's coming up? Another Hydra! I think he's just... I've hit him. Well, my engines are gonna fail. I've hit him so many times. There we go. That's a different guy in all. Two griefers taken down. Who's this little Bizzle kid? What rank's he? I need to get back to my Hydra. And the engines have failed. Looks like we're legit then. Look, I did... <laughs> I did I know I went on about it somehow, but I did just take down like two hydras and a laser from the thing with the B11 see boom do you need any more proof that the B11 is beast I didn't even plan for them guys to greet me they just kind of came out of nowhere and tried to come for me what rank is this little bizzle kid though 45 it's, uh, what is he trying to do? But yeah, basically, that is my video proving. I'll just go get the B11 and do the outro there. It'll probably spawn like around here or something. Yeah, there it is. Right, pull me out your car. Put out a gun. Yeah. Go away, mate. See? Boom. That went better than expected. I took down two griefers, like within Hydras, with the B11. If people were going on, like, oh, the Hydra can is better, the Hydra can is better. Like, it's a good dogfighter, but I don't think there's a best dogfighter in the game. I think it's more on the pilot, and you could say, but one of them was a rank 45, she wouldn't know how to fly. Sure, but if you didn't know how to fly, why did you go for me? And the other one was a 211, so, and he got that Hydra out of his hand with it, so he clearly knew what he was doing. He ain't coming for me again, is he? He should have learnt from the first time, man. This went better than expected. I didn't fire a single missile, taking down three jets. That's not proof that 30 homing missiles doesn't matter. Or, and the B11's better than absolutely, better than, well, a, one of the best planes in the game. Then, I don't know what does. But, yeah. I'll take off. And I'll just outro, I suppose. But yeah, that's my video on defending the B11. Like, so if I see 
any more videos saying the BLM is trash or the BLM don't buy the BLM you link this video in their description okay you link this video alright see ya preview